Hello and welcome back to Star Wolves, where in the last episode we sort of helped some people by delivering food and medicine to, um, to a very isolated system. And we got another member for our team, which is Astra. She has a very, she has a pretty special ship, and also there was actually a lot of loot that I was able to sell and um, new subsystems that, that I was able to, to to distribute among my people. Like most of us now have second generation um, shaft systems installed. Uh, Astra is on repair duty now, where whereas um, what's his name, Heretic is. Has an even better AMS system that if we if we are up against someone who's who's really throwing a lot of missiles at us and our shaft doesn't help, we can also switch to to AMS duty and hopefully be more successful with it than before. So I think we're doing pretty well. Sadly, there wasn't a, a new ship to buy because it just wasn't on offer. So I just instead bought a new um, laser turret for the Star Wolf and an an additional shield system so the Star Wolf can survive longer and all that crap. So let's uh, check out the news. Breakthrough at the Siege of Lanova system. People living in the system of Lanovar have had to endure three awful weeks. The threat of famine, constant pirate raids, and almost full indifference of authorities threatened to cause a catastrophe. Fortunately, the tragedy managed to be prevented. A spacecraft with food and medicines managed to break through the pirates' blockade. The brave pilots hired to protect this transport managed to escort it to the system while repulsing attacks and destroying pirate spacecraft. Now the food supply of the colonies and stations in Lanavar's system is renewed. Mercenaries, with the patrol force's assistance, have got the situation under control. The pirates have retreated. Wonder who these mercenaries were that uh, broke through there. Must have been some real cool guys. The situation on the edge of the prospected territories has become aggravated. After 10 years of war with the Berserks, we still have much to learn about these enemies of mankind. One known fact is that this is not the invasion of aliens. The roots of this evil come from Earth. In 2209, the newest supercomputer of the Microcorp Company, Western Technological Department of Inoko Corporation, came online. It was said in a press release that this miracle of engineering considerably exceeds all predecessors and may possess an intellect beyond man. Unfortunately, the machine, having obtained its intellect, rose up against its inventor. This incident went down in history as the robot's riot. The computer accidentally found its self-consciousness and started a systematic preparation for its evacuation from the territory of the corporation. It managed to do the impossible, to outwit the security of the corporation and, having stolen some transport spacecraft, it hid in the depths of unexplored space. Shocked mankind took a while to realize what was happening. The threat of total annihilation hung over it. A mighty fleet of cybers entered Empire space and bombed some colonies. The culmination of the conflict came with the use of kamikaze spacecraft carrying nuclear charges to bomb Sol 3. Several of them reached the target. Somehow the Empire did win and expelled the invader from habitable space. But the war hasn't stopped since then with raids by the cybers on military bases. Just a note um, to future story writers saying that somehow the Empire did win. Um, yeah. The richest deposit of uranium is revealed. With the approaching crisis of power shortages, special incentives are now given to those prospecting for new extraterrestrial uranium ore deposits. Unfortunately, the number of uranium deposits found is decreasing every year. This fact is the reason for the growth in independent prospectors. According to statistical data, only one in eight achieves success. The last case was the system of Delta Aquarius. Vast quantities of minerals offer real wealth for prospectors. Exploitation is now being hampered by the absence of permanent ports. I know I've got a better letter from Heretic. Hey, I promise you the info about the Precursor's portal and I keep my word. Look for yourself. To the president of the Inno Corporation, from head director of Off-Earth Technology Research Department, Krakow, Sergei Konstantinovich. Top secret. I'm glad to inform you that we've translated some of the Precursor's text. We got some prices information. We are able to obtain the location of an ancient Precursor military base. The entrance port is in the Aerodon system. Full report included. Alright, then let's check out the Aerodon system. Private Enterprise, Aeron System. We have interesting information about the Precursor's portal that leads to the artifacts. The portal is located in the Aeron System. We have a good chance to find it and we must use this chance before someone else does. Systems unknown, possibly enemies unknown. 
Ace is coming to re oh, the place we're heading is in the outer rim. According to the Imperial database, there's only a patrol station and a research laboratory there. Pirates have no reason to go there, so our trip should be easy. Unless we run into Zerkers, for instance. So we're in the Aridin system. So where are we going to search for the artifacts? Uh, well, ju just to read out all the documents, it said the portal was secured somewhere in the system. We need to check it out around this spot. Uh, that will probably take a while. Hey, let's visit this patrol station for a start. I don't know how many people knew the coordinates of the Precursor's portal, but we can't be late. Let's not waste any time then. Right. Let's save real quick. And then we can go with our new wing of five people. Let's go to the patrol station. All right, let's go to the patrol station. Is there a planet over there, or was what, what is that? Huh. Uh, hello, patrol. Um, this is mercenary with Star Wars requesting information about the sector and possible contacts. Contracts. Oh, this is traffic officer of patrol station Erdan One. Are you men or are you really wolves? Ha <laughs> ha Uh, yeah. What's going on here? Huh, I'm bored stiff here. It's enough to make you cry. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, you may allowed to complain if you want. I even sent the form f to you. Uh, anyway, I'm already in deep trouble. I can't go any deeper, eh? Your mercenaries are the only thing around here to entertain us. Yeah, I feel sorry for you. So what about that info? Oh, so you need info, did you say? Okay. The system is quiet. For me, too quiet. Pirates don't know what we've seen. There's no profit for them here. Trade doesn't flourish. The population is less than 100. Everyone knows each other. No visitors. Actually, that's about it. I have some more questions. Okay, uh, ask. Has there been anything going on here recently? Well, nearly a month ago, the Berserkers appeared. But strangely, they didn't cross the borders of the fixed territory and didn't come close to the stations. That's why they aren't an imminent threat, but we feel worried. I have no idea what they want. Furthermore, our system has become much more popular. Some suspicious characters, just like you, started to arrive. Mercenaries, corporates, they fly all over the place. I think they're sniffing for something. Many don't return. Okay, what other mercenaries have been here? Well, as I say, they were just like you, but too rude. Yes, you're definitely better. Uh-huh, what they call themselves? I'll try to remember... Oh yes, they called themselves the White Hunters. But here's a note. Bounty hunters named Wild Hunters were here. They asked for secret information, laughed at a station master and me, and then threatened us. Recommend they are destroyed. Okay, thanks. So, more questions? Uh, are there any anomalies in the system? Well, unfortunately, it can't happen with this. But you can fly to the research station where all the know alls are sitting. You can bet your sweet ass that they know everything about the system. And I have enough funny gadgets to locate anomalies. Okay, thank you. I think I'll be with all I need. And wait, 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 I have a job for you. You'll have the wonderful opportunity of dealing with a few berserkers and get heaps of money for it. You just need to fly through several nav points and eliminate all the berserkers on your way. After this will feel easy. Please eliminate berserk wing will pay a hundred credits. We take this task. Sure. Berserk killing berserkers is also profitable in other ways, so yeah, let's do that. Uh So let's go through the nav points or check out or check out the observatory. Uh, let's um, actually check out the observatory first. Maybe they have something else for us to do. There's a patrol. I wonder what these other mercenaries are doing here. Maybe they're looking for the same things that we are looking for. So we got competition going. What are that? Those are other mercenaries actually. On patrol. Oh. Interesting. Andrina Burn and mercenaries. Uh. Hey, wait, please. I'm, r I'm right. You're Star Wolves, aren't you? Uh, yes, we are. Or you? What can we do for you? Fine. We've been looking for you. We're the Wild Hunters. Have you heard of us? Maybe you don't know it, but the Triad Corporation has put a price on your head. Um, unofficial, of course, but very, very considerable. Nothing personal, guys. But we're just going to collect this money. Well, that won't be quite as easy as you might think. Enemy contact. Hmm, looks like we got ourselves into a fight. Oops. What is there to do? Mm, what do we have here? 
Falcon Calibur, Raptor, Naginata, Storm Pro. Uh, let's actually try and take out the Raptor first. Corsair, can you maybe use some of those shiny plants missiles against it? Good shot. Let's also engage luck and inspiration so we can hopefully shoot him down faster. And Heretic can also use as a rapid burst. Let's just really shoot those guys down. Alright, got the Raptor. Let's take care of the Naginata for next. Alright, got that one. Don't care which one of those you kill first. Oh, that's a new la laser turret doing it, doing magic. I like it. All right, everyone. Let's engage the unguided missiles that we have, and let's kick the mothership. Kill it with fire! Alright, it's down. Well, those were pretty pathetic uh, bounty hunters. We could have done this so much better! So, let's take the rest of the loot over there, and then I'll continue to the observatory. Engaging both, both Inspiration and Luck at the same time is a pretty powerful combo, because Inspiration makes everyone a little bit more reckless, in the sense that they try to engage enemies without caring if they got shot at or not. And Luck at the same time alleviates that, well, because it provides some passive uh, evasion, even if they actually do hit you, so... On my way. So they work together real nice, in sticky situations, like, like this one. Once you manage to gain, the, to gain the upper hand using your special abilities, the cleanup is so much easier, but, well... This is Mercenary Unit Star Wars, Research Station e e e e e E-0. This is research station. I warn you, we're under protection of a toll. It makes no sense to attack us. Well, don't worry, we just need to know if there's any strange places in the system. Well, there's one, but I would advise you to take it. It's dangerous. Uh, what type of anomaly it is, and where is it, and why do you think it's dangerous? A lot of questions, let me think. It's a gravitational anomaly. I won't give you the coordinates, but I will say that several fighters and research ships have disappeared in the region. That's why it's dangerous to approach. So why can't you not, not tell us the coordinates? Maybe we can investigate it and uh, check out what it is. Oh, why should I? That's actually top secret information. Maybe I will tell you, but only if you help us in our research. We're testing one university's birth theory and uh, one universe's birth theory and have examined samples nearby asteroids. Recent out of our devices have found an interesting rock not far from here. We know where, but the Berserks are about. We need a sample of this asteroid. Bring it to us and I'll send you the coordinates of the anomaly. Well, there are a bunch of asteroids. How do, can, do we find the one you need? Well, according to the stands, the rock will differ visually from others. It's also larger as well. Alright, then we get some samples for you. It's actually down there. Good. Then let's go to Nav Alpha. Support where we came from. Enemy in range. Yeah, the, those look like berserkers. All right. Lock on target. Engage. Let's use some of our SRMs. All 
right, let's save up the rest. Yay, hey, laser! Another laser, and yet another laser. That was, this was pretty profitable. And yet another one. Holy effing shit. I'm gonna save that one. It's like 100% drop chance. What's that? Chimera. I will. That's more serious business. Maybe it hasn't spotted us yet. Let's try to not engage it right now because the Star Wars shields are already sort of down. So I would sort of prefer to not engage it right now. Oh, it seems to be heading toward us though. Anyway, I actually need to upgrade to my scanner so that we are aware of enemies before they are aware of us. Well, that doesn't work. No, let's load that. Now the mothership is turning away while we aren't. Next one willing to die. Alright, let's engage it. Weapons ready. Let's try to keep Star Wolf out of it. Oh, there's another wing of Zerkers. Astra, prepare. Good job. Back to attacking. What is there to do? Uh oh. Stop, stop, stop. Quite a lot of hits in this in a small time frame there. Idiot. Why, why are you sure there's one guy who's not a decent pilot? So maybe we need to take out the small Zerkers first. Weapons ready. I got it. Don't want to use our abilities again because we can't just just use them willy-nilly, so... So, let's take out these guys first. Use missiles if you have to. Alright, we got one. Um, uh, stop. Ah, what? How did it die so quickly? Ah, damn, we need better ships. We need freaking better ships. Or. Just a little Stay bit more luck ready. with the with, with the hit RNG or something. I got it. Uh, crap. Star Wolf should handle it. Yeah, I know. But the camera is almost... Yeah, now they're focusing on that. God! Are you fucking kidding me? You must be fucking kidding me. Now they're all focusing on Star Wolf. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's why I wanted to have the shield up full, but uh, I Stay guess I need to ready. fucking use abilities again. Oh, damn it! I got it. If it's just Star Wolf against the Chimera, it should have the upper hand because we have some pretty decent turrets, but if also the small ships shoot on it, then we have a problem. Alright. Seems 
I've been doing reasonably well. What? Pair. That uh, last missile Sabo was sort of not necessary. Cross air, just 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 saying. Anyway, let's pick up the loot. Another laser. Uh -huh. Let's go alpha. On the route, um, Star Wolf can self repair itself with little help. Let's hope we don't run into too many more of these uh, battleship plus fighter groups. Enemy in range. Mm, like there's another Berserker group. Confirm attack mode. I think right over there we have our asteroid that we're trying to get a sample of. I think getting a sample of is code for uh, shoot it down and collect some of the remains. So take him out. Thank you. Good job. State ready. Good job. Gonna make quite quite an, quite a little bit of money with all these Berserker lasers that we'll find in here. I mean, Berser Ber Berserkers are pretty tough enemies, especially when their battleships are 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 around too. But those lasers, man, they give some serious zing. Enemy in range. Oh fuck! There's another fucking battleship. Arr. Can we maybe okay. concentrate fire on the mm. battleship? Like, um, dump fire plus missile salvo. I'll shoot it down using that. Also, use a sniper shot ace. Let's hope it doesn't have support. Of course, it doesn't have support. Damn it. Well, then, after the first pass, the main wing will just engage the smaller ships. Alright. Don't need to repair actually. Got to switch you back. Okay. Engage the smaller guys. Use missiles. Do have enough of them so we can just make a repair stop in, in between. Oh, this is it. What a colossus. It won't fit in our cargo bay. Let's blow it up and take what's left. But first, let's blow up these enemies attacking us. No. Let's shoot down the Berserk Camara. One. Yeah, I know. Focus fire on the camera now. Now. Uh, damn idiots. Guess we need to focus fire on the camera more. Oops. So missile salvo, that, that, let's also use that. You're also on attack duty. Astra, you should be able to hit the battleship, right? Now let's shoot down the smaller guys. Missiles. Yeah, but the Star Wars also in the process of being destroyed. 
Uh, there's an easy solution to all of this, which is wait for half an hour until Star Wolf is completely um, is completely fixed, and then proceed. It's kind of boring though, so I'm trying to avoid it. But reloading, yo, it's a thing. Let's just have Star Wolf wait here, so it has a f so we can get a few more shots and hopefully without interference. Still on repair duty. Forgot to switch you back again. Sorry. What the shit are you guys doing there? Why are you. Come on, hold it together. Yeah, I know. Why are you just standing there, man? Oh god, guys, you're either. Either we have a problem of the mothership being destroyed because you're not killing it fast enough or you're just standing still for reasons that I really don't get behind. Mm. What is there to do? God. Affirm. Attack. So now I'll engage the small ships. I think I already tried that strategy, but there's only so much I can do. Go back to repairs. of Star Wolf can hold it together. And the small ships keep firing on us. That's not something here every day. Let's hope they keep firing on us. Yeah, why did you why did you get hit? Prepare yourself. And keep moving, fucking damn it. Close one. Alright, everyone dock, refill your ammo. Also gives us some time for the for the Star Wolf to uh, repair. Uh, yeah. I bought better shields, I bought better guns. <laughs> There's not really much more that I can do. Guess I could have bought another turret because I still have one of the turrets that we started out with, but well, I also want to keep some money around in case um, we can actually buy some some interesting new ships at some point. Docking completed. So let's speed this up. Docking completed. Docking completed. Docking completed. Docking completed. Alright. I guess Launch Astra wouldn't have had ready. wouldn't have actually have to go into the mothership because she doesn't really need either repairs nor uh, ammo refill, but Affirm. Clear. What is there to do? Okay, move closer to the asteroid. On my way. And let's Confirm shoot it into pieces. Mode. Good fragment, let's take it. Okay, I need to get closer. I think this is the last camera in this sector though. I really hope so. Guess I shouldn't have used my special abilities against the mercenaries because apparently they're not really good at that job. Or oh, we just got lucky there. I'm, I, don't, I, I never know for sure, but 
Apparently, should have saved that up a little more. Or put more skill points into into improving these abilities, because you can also improve her luck ability so that you can use it three times each mission, and also same holds true for inspiration. So I'll probably do that at some point. What do we have? Pirates? Really? Really? Okay. Well, I'm not sure where they're coming from, but can definitely use some target practice. But let's let's save just. Someone could just randomly get hit a few times and die. <laughs> oh, well, those missiles aren't aren't hitting shit. Maybe they're just unguided. Actually, it seems like they're just un unguided missiles, so they shouldn't hit much. Shoot that one guy down. Shoot him down. All right. I got it. Did that. No additional hull damage. Didn't use any ammo. That's what I like. What Can we have more enemies like like these ones? All right, but we got some repairs in. Enemy contact. Mm, Zerkers. Alright. So I have a small ship's engage first. What is there to do? Because if Star Wolf gets hit by a lot of those lasers, it can actually be in trouble. Weapons ready. Like mm -hmm. like that. For now the shield is holding. And since the shield regenerates pretty quickly, that's not so much of a problem. But I would like to avoid hull damage. Yeah, I like that. So why why are they still alive? Just shoot them down. Damn it. Well, the new laser's doing a pretty good job, apparently, Stay on Star Wolf. Ready. Not so sure about you guys, but at least the laser's doing its job. Alright. Okay, we got beta. Let's proceed to gamma. Actually, t actually takes us close to the observatory, so we can give them their asteroid sample. Worked out pretty well, I guess. If we had done the patrol first, oh fuck, no, not not that thing again. Mm -hmm. Is it coming toward us? I guess it will. Does it have support? I guess it just will. Oh, damn it. Let's throw some missiles at it. it doesn't have support apparently. It's kinda kinda good. Did I say it doesn't have support? I, w I was wrong. I need to get some more damage in so that Star Wolf can deal with it while you take care of the smaller fighters. So now the smaller fighters are shooting at you and not hitting. Yeah, okay, repair. God, are you kidding me? Talking about close encounter. Do 
to have more missiles throw, throw everything and not all of that guy that's already already dying god uh, fuck. Uh. Safe for the pirates, okay. What is there to do? Sorry about that. Guess I need to wait more. It's not it's not really the greatest thing to do, but uh, you do need to uh, start with in a pretty decent fashion if you engage these battleship groups or special abilities, which I don't really have too many left. But as I said, this is a pretty tough mission. Unless you're just willing to wait like for half an hour between every every bigger group which is a possibility not saying it isn't a possibility but it's sort of boring to just here just just stand around for a few minutes and uh, wait for repairs to be commenced ah, let's move On my way. enemy in range You'll stay here. You'll take care of these. Use a few missiles. Alright, got one. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Still have enough missiles, I think. Let's continue. On my way. What is that, by the way? Huh. I know that's actually what, what we're trying to what we're trying to find but let's do it uh, State ready. Um, in the way the story intended us to, to find out about it let me just give it a few more secs so that we can get some repairs going on higher game speed hopefully that will be enough enemy in range what is there to do what is there to so do? you wait here everybody else engage gauge missiles sometimes the missiles really don't seem to hit interesting and you're out all right Us. Now it's without supports now, which is sort of good. Because if we don't have to worry about shooting down the supports, then we have one less thing to worry about. Or more than one, but. Alright. Shoot down, please. Uh, support is coming. Okay. Let's engage a handful of missiles and take that out. Star Wolf should be able to handle the rest of Chimera. Whoa! Multiple at the same time. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the shit are you doing there? Crazy. That was... That was... Beautiful guys. Now let's pick up all berserker lasers hopefully. Yes, yes. Thus that was that was great. Can't we do it like this all the time? Support arrives too late and we take out the, the, the capital ship uh, just by itself. 
kind of great. All right, we move toward the patrol points, uh, th through the patrol points. So let's head to the observatory before returning to the observat uh, to the patrol station. Let me also think about uh, refueling with missiles. I think we actually might just want to do that. Do we send in everyone? Well, Corsair still has this. Oh, this is a research station E01. Did you guess how much of the asteroid? Yes, of course. You can take it. Oh, perfect. I'm setting the coordinates of the anomaly. As I said, it's a gravitational anomaly. According to scans, there's an object with mass abnormally high for its physical volume. That's all I can really tell you. Thank you. Alright. What's going on over there? Contacts. Remains. Of what? Huh? Someone got shot down here. Interesting. Um... Before we proceed, let's have pretty much everybody dock except uh, Astra and Corsair. Attention. What? Also gives it some more time to repair in case we run into any more big problems. Docking completed. Actually, our missile dude is the only one who doesn't need new missiles. Huh. Docking completed does have pretty advanced missiles, so I would also only use them as a sort of last resort, mostly. Let's also check if uh, they still have enough missiles left. Not really, because I was trying to use my last uh, first-gen short-range missiles. Now we can use second-gen for the other guy. Huh? Have you already got them? Why did you already get them? Alright. Let's also do something something even more crazy because we have some insanely effective um, swarm missiles with an MRV warhead because we're running out of special abilities and I think there's still one difficult fight ahead of us. I would like you to have that. All right, let's launch everybody. So that we have an oh shit button that we can press. So, but for now, let's return to the patrol station before we investigate the anomaly. We also did our patrol, and so we should get some some money from these guys. But what the hell happened here? Why this? Why the remains scattered about? Was it from the pirates that I killed? No. They weren't scattered about so, so so far away from their from their from their main ship. Crazy. Let's actually pick up the remains. Maybe there's something interesting going on there. Maybe the berserkers tried to attack the navy station and shot a f shot a few down or something. That's sort of what I'm grasping at here. On my way. On my way. Berserker laser. Hmm. Right. Apparently, a berserker oh, wing just came by and said, "Hello, hey, old fellows. Good to see you again. How's the hunt? How successful we completed the task. Excellent. Your credits will be transferred to your account. Thank you. Don't get bored." Don't really care about the extra credits. The <laughs> berserker lasers are worth much more than what we got uh, the, than the 100 credits we got per wing. But it's a bonus. Let's call it a bonus. How much did we get actually? Uh, da -da -da, credits transferred. Huh. Actually, no. How much? No. Okay. Just credits were transferred. All right. Good, let's check out uh, the anomaly, or maybe a portal. We're almost there.
so I know I'm saving a lot but uh, as I said sometimes you mute oh we found the portal and it still works and there's something over there precursor fighter doesn't look that dangerous but maybe it looks are deceiving what is there to do let's uh, try to shoot some missiles at it With some, I mean, like a few. Whoa! It does do a frick ton of damage. Okay, let's engage the oh crap button. Alright, you're out. We made some dent in it. It doesn't seem to be dangerous but does do quite a frick of damage frick ton so how about with more missiles apparently it doesn't have any ECM or enter missile systems because our missiles seem to be having hitting it pretty well oh, well cap looks like we got away empty handed we forgot one thing we don't know how to use this portal we also forgot another thing, because with random loot and stuff, I'm just gonna um, reload the fight. I'm sorry about that. But this thing can drop some pretty interesting loot. We know now we're capable enough of dealing with it. Enemy contact detected. Confirm attack mode. So you're gonna engage all of these. You're gonna engage also all of these, one of these, and these. Should be fine. Just hammered with missiles. Bam. Including the MARVs. MARVs are interesting because they split into four before they hit the opponent. So. They can also split up and hit multiple targets if many enemies are, are, are clustered together. So. They're fun to use, but they're really expensive. I think we found a few of them in uh, the mission where we got where we got Corsair in one of the uh, in one of the weapons caches in the mission after that. So this, we really don't have many of them, and uh, to buy them, they're really expensive. So, but if I'm not going to use them now, then I'll just sit around and I'll never use them properly. Probably. So yeah, we got something this time. A precursor's cannon. What oh yeah. So we don't know how to use the portal actually. And looking at the device, it's not a standard portal or something else. To figure out how this thing works, we need to meet a real scientist or better so a whole research institute. Okay, I guess we'll just go then. Besides, we can't stay here. Look there. Well, well look, look what. Meeting Imperial forces here is a bad idea. Let's fly away before they detect us. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're not supposed to be here. So let's try to sneak away. Coming from right over there. Navy Ace. I think you can fight them if you still have abilities and, and all that. Not sure what the repercussions of that are, but we're just trying to be sneaky sneaky. Just fly away. Take a detour through here, and then everything should be fine. Just need to get away from the portal before they reach it. Alright, so, but I think that was that. So, I hope this precursor laser is worth quite a bit. Or maybe we'll just keep it, not sure. How good is it? How, how, good, is, how good is it? 15 Berserk lasers, yeah! And a precursor's cannon. This weapon comes from an ancient era, but still works and is deadly. It is alien to all civilization, but a good specialist in technology adaptation might be able to install it in a modified fighter. Looks like it's a laser. And judging from the stats, it's actually way superior to, to everything that we have. 
Well, it's gun type big, not laser. Huh. Well, need to think about so whether I want to keep it. Because if it were a laser, it would fit nice with Ace, for instance. If it's big, I'm not sure if actually any one of us is specializing in big cannons. I think Bossman actually has a specialization there. So, um, let me first see uh, for how much money I could sell it before making a decision on whether I want to keep it or sell it. I think it's a pretty great weapon Enemy in, in the late range. game. There's pirates incoming for some reason. Mm. Sure. We're gonna give them a good thrashing. Just rookies. What is there? All right. Do to the portal. Yes, let's depart. Got some experience and 700 of, 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 for the wings that we took out apparently. And also got a few pirate escape pods. And dividends! Roll! Cool. So, you actually have heavy guns. Heavy or plasma guns. Is that different than big guns? Dude, I, dude, I really don't know, to, to be honest. Gonna have to take a harder look at that. Uh, you already had tactician, yes? yes. Okay. Something you wanted to learn? Aimed fire, accuracy increase, and more damage. Let's actually learn that. Or improved sniper shot that we can use it two times. Yeah, let's actually have that. Sounds nice. Heretic. Rapid burst, better missile usage. I think experienced pilot is more cr is more crucial right about now. And better gunning, sure. It's pretty cheap. Mm, engine tuning or expert repairman. Right now we have an efficiency increase of 50%. This would be 150%, which is pretty pretty insane. Uh, impressive luck. Let's actually take that first, so we can use it more often. Could also learn great inspiration, but impressive luck is sort of important because because of the because the evasion is really insanely great. Uh, more missile damage. We'll just save up for Master of Missiles. Increases the damage by 25% actually, while well, this only increases by 20. It's cheaper, but it doesn't have an additional ECM bonus. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, give that bash. That's yeah, that's a bit great inspiration, sure. All right, let's check out the weapons. This is gun type big. I'm not sure if it's. I always, from what I've seen with the weapon, I th would think it's a laser. So, so this says gun type laser. This also says gun type big. All right, so this is spe specifies into which slot we can put it into. It's worth eighty fucking thousand. Holy shit! All right, so there's some interesting ships uh, on sale. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna buy, I'm just gonna give you some information now on which one would be interesting. Uh, the Raptor is actually a pretty interesting ship because it has three system slots, so it would suit Astra or Heretic really well in their sort of special roles. Also it has a pretty big assessment of guns and is still maneuverable and has much better shield and armor than our Gen, Gen 1 fighters that we have, so it's just vaguely superior to the, um, to the, um, Excaliburs that we're still using for most of my people. So they would be interested in that. It's only on the black market though. It's just sort of a shame because the additional price. And another interesting ship would be the Bident. It has an extremely... It, it has a lot of armor and shields and well it's not quite as maneuverable as the Excalibur but pretty maneuverable for, uh, for a missile carrier. And it has four fucking slots for missiles which is pretty great. Uh, well... 
Not sure if I'm actually gonna buy them because they might become available in the normal trade in a few uh, in a few missions, and we can save up some money there. Because 50% additional price for ship is a pretty is a pretty big deal. <laughs> and also our bonds, have, uh, our stocks have, have have increased in value. They were like worth 16 last time. This time we could sell them for 8,200 instead of 3,000 something. So, but I'm still gonna keep them around for the dividends unless I really need the money. But uh, I'll make my off-screen decision on what I want to buy, and we'll see the result of that in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.